going to be addressing what happened in High River the last three weeks ago. Uh, High River was uh, was unfortunate enough to have a couple of very bad things happen to it. First, there was the flood, and, which caused a lot of damage and still has not been recovered from yet. And then there was what the RCMP did afterwards, which I'm going to get into here. Now, the RCMP in High River ended up going from choosing select houses to go to um, and broke into them and stole guns. Now they claimed what they were doing was they were looking for looking to do a search and rescue thing when in actuality what they were doing was a search and seizure. They, uh, they, they picked specific people's homes, broke into them, uh, in many cases smashing doors right off their hinges, uh, going into their closets, taking their guns, and then leaving. Uh, with no evidence whatsoever that they were trying to rescue anybody or pets or whatever it was that they claimed they were trying to do. These houses appear to have been targeted specifically. Uh, whether they were using uh, an old copy of the gun registry or, or some other source, we're not sure of yet, and we'll still wait on that. But the important thing to know is that, uh, is that this was wrong. Now, I, I realize for a lot of people it's very easy to pick on gun owners. After all, aren't guns just this destructive thing used to kill people? Well, no, that's not what guns are for at all. The purpose of guns is to protect an individual's life, liberty, and property a bedrock uh, liberty in English society, and one that goes back for centuries, uh, even as far back as Magna Carta, and even further than that into Saxon England. Guns are a man's property, just like his, his car or his house or his clothing is, and it is immoral to steal another man's property without his consent. Um, there are legal arguments to be made here, for example, the Alberta government uh, claimed that it had authority under the Emergency Act to go into people's homes. Um, well, I'm sorry, but the Emergency Act doesn't trump the Charter. Uh, laws passed by provincial legislatures don't trump uh, federal constitutional law. So there's going to be a bit of an issue there in the future. Uh, however, even more important than the legal argument is the moral argument. Uh, and that's kind of what I'd like to go into a little bit more. I'd like to explain exactly why what happened was immoral. And I'll use a quote here from Martin Luther King, Jr., a civil rights activist. And he's talking about laws, specifically, and the difference between a moral and an immoral law. And he says, let us consider a more concrete example of just and unjust laws. An unjust law is a code that a numerical or power majority group compels a minority group to obey but does not make binding on itself. This is difference made legal. By the same token, a just law is a code that a majority compels a minority to follow and that it is willing to follow itself. This is sameness made legal. So what he's saying then is that, uh, is that laws have to be universal in, in order to be applicable and property rights necessarily have to be universal as well. Now, I'd like to say something to the RCMP who are involved in this particular raid. Um, first of all, uh, in spite of what they tried to say in their press releases, they didn't prevent any looting. They were the looters. Not only that, by breaking into people's homes, they made them more vulnerable to actual looting should that have actually happened. And the other thing is, the residents of High River should not have to turn in their guns. You should. Rate this video even if you hate it. Share it with your friends. Uh, we, got, we got the links below. Uh, today's date is Sunday, July 14, 2013. And have a good one.